looking a whole lot better than we were yesterday at this time. 34 degrees. The good news, dry roadways to greet your Tuesday morning commute. So no worries or issues there. But make sure those windshield wipers are, good, are in good working order. You're going to need them tonight. 35 degrees for Hillsborough at this hour. 42 Gresham. Also 35 there for Vancouver. Zooming out across the rest of the state. Down to 31 at this hour for the Dalles. 30 for Hood River. 28 degrees for Bend. And a uh, balmy 45 degrees there at Newport. If you're heading out to the Portland Opera tonight for the Newmark Theater and Ronaldo, yeah, definitely take a rain jacket or an umbrella because it's going to be a rather rainy walk into the performance. Live 3D Pinpoint Doppler beginning to see those showers trying to pop up on, th on the Doppler, mainly out towards the coast. I'm not really expecting a whole lot of moisture early on today, but it will increase as we go later on in today, and that's courtesy of this area of low pressure. It's all swooping into the north. As it passes by, we're going to see the rain increase. We're also going to notice those winds increase as that center of low pressure gets a little bit closer to us. Behind it, though, much cooler air begins to filter in from the Gulf of Alaska. And as it does so, we're going to be talking about lowering snow levels. In fact, Raincast illustrates this quite nicely. You can see the rain beginning to increase this afternoon. We'll see just rain at times, not an all-out soaking this afternoon. The soaking really happens overnight tonight into tomorrow and breezy conditions as well. Also notice it's rain in the Cascades until we get into Wednesday afternoon when that cold front finally swoops in. And when it does, it ushers in that colder air. In fact, by Thursday morning, 1,000 to 1,500 feet of the snow level could even be as low as 500 feet in some of the outline areas. And then it really drops Thursday night and Friday morning. That's when the snow level there drops to right about 500 to 1,000 feet. So for the next couple of days, rainy and breezy conditions increase later today into tonight. Gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour are possible tonight into early tomorrow morning in the valley, and the snow level later Thursday into Friday, 500 to 1,000 feet. So definitely going to remind us, even though we're going into spring, it is still going to feel like winter. Rain developing along the coast, breezy gusts to 55 miles per hour late in the day. Rain developing as well for the valley, breezy tonight, gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour, highs in the 50s, tonight's lows in the 30s and 40s. East of the Cascades, tonight's lows in the 30s and 40s. Afternoon highs warm into the 50s, except for 49 there at Baker City. 53 this afternoon for the Dallas and 58 for Madras. In the Gorge, rain develops there. East winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts to 35 miles per hour possible, especially towards Troutdale and Cascade Locks. 42 this afternoon for Government Camp and 35 tonight with rain developing. And here in the Portland metropolitan area, 52 downtown. Rain developing. Wind gusts tonight, 30 to right about 40 miles per hour. Tonight's lows much warmer than we have been in the past couple of days into the mid-40s after the mid-30s the past two mornings. 45 officially at PDX, 52 this afternoon. And zooming up to Columbia and Clark counties, 51 for Scappoos, 53 for Vancouver, and tonight's lows in the 40s. Breezy overnight tonight, gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour. Wet at times and breezy, especially early on Wednesday for our first day of spring. And then snow in the hills for Thursday and Friday. Yeah, it's just going to remind us that even though we're entering spring, Mother Nature got the wires crossed, gave us spring last week, <laughs> and now we get winter. <clears throat> well, I guess we will suck it up and have to deal with it, but yeah. fingers crossed it won't be that bad. No, I, and there's drier weather for, Saturday, or for later Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, so a little bit of everything. Our trade-off, I suppose. Exactly. <laughs> Brian, thank you. Yeah.